Hello my crafty loving friends, welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today we're going to take a, an old medicine cabinet and an old broken bookshelf and we're going to marry them together and make them into a really cute prim primitive country stand. So let's get started. So this is actually the medicine cabinet. It has a towel holder on it. It has this cute little shelf or drawer in it and it also has two shelves inside but it is very dirty, very nasty dirty. So I want to get it all cleaned up so I took some 409 that I had on hand and I just started cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. Then I needed to take it all apart. I wanted to take the screws out of the mirror part because I wanted to take the mirror out. I do not want that in there and I'm going to add something to the backer board after I paint it so I wanted to get all the pieces apart get them wiped down and get them painted. It looks like somebody was testing out some colors here they chose uh, one of the colors off that chart it looks like and uh, it's very orangey which normally is fine but I really want something different more primitive country so I'm gonna keep wiping down this uh, medicine cabinet and then get it painted. So I'm sorry about the terrible quality of this video part here but I'm just I just have it in the basement where it's dark and I am spray painting the cabinet because it is raining outside. So I'm getting the inside and out and then I'm going to take that piece that I, uh, the wood backing piece to the mirror and I'm going to bring it upstairs where there's better light and I'm going to take my plaster Waverly paint and give it a coat of the Waverly paint. So now I have a piece of this decoupage paper. It's farm to market. It says fresh eggs, sunflower, poultry, and seed farm uh, and some other stuff down at the bottom like something about Illinois and uh, a name and all kinds of stuff. So I want to cut the farm to market off because I want to be able to have all the whole chicken in the picture and it won't, doesn't have it in there if I leave uh, the whole piece together. So I kind of have to chop it up a little bit which is okay because you can do that with decoupage paper. You just got to go back in with your Mod Podge and decoupage over the top and it will be it will work just fine. So I'm just trying to place this on and make sure that I'm getting it right uh, where I want it and I'm going to have to cut off that fresh eggs because I don't want that on there either but that's okay. I'm saving all my little pieces and pictures so that I can piece this together as I go if I need to. So I took the writing off the bottom. I believe it was somebody's name and uh, I decided to put that on there and cover up that part where I cut out the fresh eggs on the side there. And it actually looks really super good once it's done. I was very pleased with that. Once I had my pieces all cut out that I wanted to use and figured out how I wanted to put them on, I took my Mod Podge and started at the top and just did a, just did a little sections at a time. I thought it was easier where it was such a big uh, piece of paper and I didn't want to rip it and risk ruining it in some way because I uh, put too much on. So. I'm just wiping it down a little bit and rubbing in some of the bubbles and wrinkles and then I'm just doing a little bit more here doing the middle and then this is the last piece down here and once I get it down and just wipe it and not too much but then I did near the top and I don't know I guess I didn't show it but I did get a little bit of a hole near the top and maybe it was later on but anyway I was trying to get a wrinkle out and I got too aggressive and I made a hole in the top
but it actually worked out really well because then I could use that uh, farmer's market at the top and I really like how it came out with that. So now I'm just taking my sandpaper and sanding the edges once it's dry and taking off that uh, the extra pieces. So this is the bottom cabinet. I just happened to come across this for $10 at a flea market and I thought it's uh, solid wood like my medicine cabinet is and so I decided that it would work great for what I want to do. It's broken on the back so I'm just going to take pop that right off, take it right out and do something different on the back. So, But first I want to get it sanded down and painted. So after giving a, a good sand all over, I wiped it all down and got all the dust off there and any dirt. And now I'm going to take my Rust-Oleum flat black spray paint, which is what I used on my uh, medicine cabinet as well, so that all the colors would match, and just went over the whole thing. I ended up doing two coats with that, and then I also went back with my Rust-Oleum clear matte sealer and did two coats of the sealer as well to make sure that it was nice and sealed. Now I went down and got some of my scrap wood and I cut a bunch of these slats so I'm going to make a, like a wainscoting back or wainscoting however you want to say it backing on this stand. I think it's really gonna make it stand out really nicely so I uh, cut all the pieces down they're a little bit thicker than a paint stir and got them all set in there. Now I'm going to take my uh, Waverly Antique Wax and just use it as kind of like a stain and brush it on there and then wipe it back. So now I'm taking my uh, glue and I'm going to glue up the edges and anywhere where, where those strips are going to touch so that I can uh, it just is going to help them stick and hold down a little bit better but I'm also going to nail them in which is what I'm doing right here so I'm nailing it on the uh, the top middle and the bottom so that it has a nice uh, contact and it stays together nicely and it helps sturdy up that bookshelf uh, I think it really helps and I think it looks really good. So I put the stained part on facing the front. The back is just going to get spray painted all black, the whole thing, so that it all matches. But that inside piece is going to be brown. So I put these strips down from the back down to the back of the bookshelf. And those are going to help that stand up so that you don't have to mount it to the wall if you don't want to. But you can also take those off and mount it to the wall. I uh, painted the inside drawer. I tried cleaning it, but it had a bunch of stains in there that I just could not get clean no matter what I did. So I decided I would just paint the inside of the drawer black. And I did just one coat. And here's the farm to market uh, piece that I had cut off originally. And I put it on over a hole that I had made, but I think it was a good, happy mistake because I think it looks really awesome. So what I did to put that over the top of that is I took some of my, my paint that I used underneath the whole thing, my plaster paint, and I painted that one section where I was going to put the farm to market piece. And once I did that, it dried, and then I did the Mod Podge and did the same steps, put that over it, and then I also went over the whole thing with Mod Podge and uh, to seal it in. But that's how I did that piece over the other piece. Uh, maybe you don't have to do that, but I wanted to make sure that it didn't bleed through too much and look weird. So I think it looks very nice the way it is.
what do you think guys do you like it do you think it came out good does it look like it's supposed to be together now I hope so it's not exactly what I wanted for the bottom but I think it really looks uh, cute and again you could take those strips off the back and hang that piece on the wall up over the shelving underneath and it would be just the same I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more I'll leave a playlist here don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and have a great day